Right, so you want to run the Ultima Underworld Unity version on your PC? Not a problem. What you need to do is have three things. You need to grab these two files here. This is the actual exporter. Here's a music pack. And obviously, you're going to have to have a version of Ultima Underworld installed. I've got the GOG version. So if you don't have this, you're going to have to go and buy a copy from GOG. But for these other two files, just click on the links I've provided in the description down below. Once those have downloaded, I'm just going to come over here to the main game directory and create a couple more folders. Just going to call this one UW1. And this one, I'm just going to call it UW Exporter. And now using your extraction software of choice, come up to the Windows 6x64v109 zip. Just click on that. Okay. And extract the contents here into the exporter folder we created. And now I can close this window. Now copy the under ROM1 folder into your UW1 folder. I'll just copy it there. go back and now we also need to extract the contents of this file the gamegog file into uw1 as well now if you're using 7-zip it's quite easy to do just do a right click on the file and we open archive and we can just move the contents however i tend to use WinRAR, and WinRAR has a little problem with this file doesn't really recognize it so here's a quick tip for you WinRAR users just right click on the file Add to game raw, zips it up. We'll just double click on that. Double click on that again. Select the contents. Oh, get rid of the little nag wear there. Select the contents and just extract it here into UW1. So there you go. Little tip for you. Now I can close this and just delete this. Now double click on the UW1 folder, click on the UW folder here, select everything, copy it, and we go back to UW1, and we'll just paste. Now let's go back to the main game directory, and now we're going to choose which music we want. So click on the music pack zip, just get rid of this. As you can see, we've got a choice of three types of music. We've got MIDI, or we've got Sound Blaster, or we've got the actual PlayStation music. So I'm gonna go with this because I absolutely hated MIDI as a child when I first played this game. So that's my choice. So I'm just gonna extract it over here. There it is. I can close this down. And it's now at this point that, if you like, you could move all three of these folders in their own directory somewhere else on your PC. But I'm going to keep them here just for convenience. Right, so the next step is to come up to the UW Exporter folder. Double click on it. And we're going to launch the config.any file. So do a right click and open it up with Notepad. And I'm going to be using Notepad++. And as you can see, there's a couple of things we need to change, mainly the pathing to the game and the audio files. So let's do that now. Let me minimize this. Go back to the main game directory. Click on UW1. The executable's here. So now I just want to copy this path. So just copy the address. Come back here. And we're just going to change this. So here is UW1. I'll just change this like so and then don't forget to add the extra backslash oops there we go and we need to do the same again here for the audio so let's minimize this again come back to the main path or main directory audio copy the address Go back to the config any, come down here, 
change this. Paste that in. Don't forget your backslash. And we can actually do a quick save there. Ah, something I just forgot. Mouse settings. These values here, 15, way too high. Change them to 7 or 8. Otherwise, your mouse is a little bit hard to control. And of course, familiarise yourself with the keys. And if you don't like them, you can always change them. Anyway, let's do another save and launch the game. So let's get rid of this. Double click on the underworld exporter.exe if you want to launch the game straight away. Or actually, if you want, create a shortcut. Put that on your desktop, but I tend not to bother, so I'm just going to get rid of it. Let's go back, launch, you get this little window, you can change a few settings here, I'm just going to run it like this, hit play, we wait a bit, should launch any second now, there we go. Right, so there we are in game, and we just have to create a character. In fact, let me just show you one more thing. Whatever. No. Doesn't really matter. Yes. Because there's just one more important thing to do. Right, so now we're in the game. And that is to make sure that all the save slots are occupied. So save game. One. Yep. Go back. Save. And two. You have to do this because otherwise you will get a really annoying blue error. As you can see, it's turned up. So let's do all of them. I saved. Succeeded. Save game. Three. Save game. Succeeded. I'm not sure. I save it. Save so game succeed. Okay, so I think that is all of them now. So let's relaunch it, and it should have got rid of this error. Right, so let's journey onward. Now we've got all our saves, so just pick any. And that error message has gone. So there you go, that's all there is to it. And if we want, we can just press E. Now we've got mouse look, which is excellent. 